Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot reading. This is for the week of October 18th through October 25th for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as usual, I do appreciate you and thank you so much for just watching the readings and definitely for subscribing and hitting that like button. I always appreciate that too. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. I post new readings every Friday and then typically, again, on either Monday or Tuesday. But I get it that it's not always everyone's reading. So if it isn't, you can either check back on the channel in a couple of days or just check a different part of your chart too. That's always kind of a fun thing to do. So let's get the advice for Leo. What does Leo need to know, please? What messages do you have for Leo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so. We will do our tarot reading here, and then we will do an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. You've got the King of Pentacles. Interesting, you've got Death, the Nine of Cups, and the Sun. Beautiful. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So two Aces here. The Sun and Death. So you're here, Leo. You've got Scorpio here. You have Aries, um, no, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Wands. You've got Earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got all the elements. So You've definitely got a shift coming in. There's a shift in your energy. It feels like a brand new you. That's what I get. Brand new you. And I do feel like you're more focused on things. You're more focused on your overall appearance, health, money. You've got nice aspects for both. And it pretty much anything you set out to do here, you you have just the right energy to do it. Now, for some of you, you may be single and getting some offers, but in, if you're guarded, because somebody here is pretty guarded, if you, you have to let that down, okay, in order to move anywhere with this, because I do feel like you have some nice aspects coming in there, um, but it's like you're not quite open enough to receive some of them, and I get that with these, the Four of Cups and that Nine of Wands. But in terms of money aspects, this is great. Now, for some of you, if you do have an interest in somebody or there, you, you do have in terms of love, I mean, I'm not saying it's not totally here, but I do feel like there's somebody in this reading that's dating a lot and that, that comes through predominantly. But I will say there's another storyline here about meeting someone that's quite good. You know, the person, it feels like they're very stable. They may be in some kind of like management position or business kind of related thing. It feels, it just feels businessy to me. Um, very charming personality. People are into what they have to say. I feel like people listen to this person. They have this way about telling a story where it's like it has everybody on the edge of their seats. It's really a nice energy. They're very stable. I think I did say that, but if not, they are. And um, humble. There's a humility to this, but there's, again, there's abundance around this person. So they may have many, many friends, prosperous or have a, you know, financially secure situation. Um, I do get for somebody here, and maybe this is you, but somebody has two two different homes. It feels like they have some kind of a lake house, or maybe you're looking at one. I do get something about a lake house here for whoever that's for. Um, but with the death card, this is Scorpio energy. I don't feel like it's a physical death here. There's nothing to suggest this. It really is about letting go of something that you may have been hanging on to. So again, if it's a house or something, it may be time to let go of that. But it really is about being less anxious and kind of like more open-minded. It's letting go of the ego, being more open. You have that multiple times here, this idea about opening up to something. And it really is letting go of things that don't serve you to make room for things, good things that are coming in. There's enlightenment here too. So it, it has some depth to it in terms of 
learning more about who you really are and as far as on a soul level, on a spiritual level, and connecting really at a deeper level on that. But it's, again, it's transformative energy. It's a new beginning. There is a new beginning here. And it brings in, I mean, let's just take a look at this. I say new beginning, and then the cards that follow are really terrific, okay? So as you look at this, you have quite an alignment here of new energy coming in. So for some of you, you do have a um, you do have a love interest here. And I feel like this person, I mentioned before they're in management, but they also could be in some kind of hospitality too. But I feel like they are a real um, fit. They're a good fit. And so be open to them because maybe for some of you, you might at first blush wonder if they're just a player, but I do feel they're able to make a commitment. And they're very, they have kind of a free spiritedness about them. Um, I mentioned they're stable, but there's a lightness here and just wanting to enjoy that money, I guess, is, is what I get where they will like to go out and do, they like to spend money on activities, on experiences, and maybe not so much on um, possessions and to some extent, you know what I mean? Like I said, there's a lake house involved here. That to them would be something fun to do rather than maybe so much money in the 401k, I guess. But either way, there's reciprocity here. And it really is, they're generous in spirit. I get that too for the, for whoever that is. But um, with this, so it's wish fulfillment for you. It really is a, a great match and wanting something, wanting it to come to fruition and seeing it happen. So with the sun here, you really can't beat this. I mean, this is a card of pure positivity. And I also feel like it goes along with death to some extent because it's this card of self-acceptance. It's really a card of seeing seeing things very clearly, really getting clear on what you want in your life and going for it. So with this, though, it is a card of achievement. It's success, attaining goals. Like I mentioned before, if you have any goals for yourself, this is the perfect energy to set them. I mean, it's growth, it's happiness, and it really is you radiating this beautiful positive energy. And I do feel like you're going to have a lot of offers for somebody here that also may be in job, job related offers that you're going to have a lot of opportunities there. And some you aren't going to want, and that's okay. But this is too a very open hearted kind of energy. There's some vulnerability with this, yes, but there's this openness about it. And um, it really is, If for somebody here, if you've had kind of a, a bit of a tug of war with that, you know, wanting to be more open to things, it really is the time to do it because you've got this Ace of Pentacles here too. So again, there's something new. There's a new chapter coming and it brings in wealth, that's for sure. And it's... Um, also, though, health and prosperity. So it it can be love, money, either way, but it's really abundance. And it's also a time of new growth, too, and just having, I feel, again, having the spiritual expansion, too, and feeling really in flow, very in tune with why we're here. And not really, you know, even though, like, this is kind of a closed-off energy, I also feel like it's sort of like not having a care about things either. Then that's actually a result of some of the spiritual growth, not being so stuck on the material things around you and, and really being able to detach from things that might be disappointing and that just not getting so mired down in some of it. It really is, in this case, I feel like a card of kind of being unbothered rather than... Um, you know, being anxious or worried about things. Although, like I said before, I do think you have some offers coming in. And so in order to really move forward, you may have to entertain some of them because there is somebody here that's quite attractive and really has, I mean, they mark all the boxes, check all the boxes. So you've got this nine of wands here and some of you may be protective and slightly suspicious because of things that have happened in the past. You don't have a strong reconciliation reading here at all, but this is the first time I bring this up because it's the first time it's come through. For some of you, there may be somebody who's looking to come back around, but I, again, I think you're very hesitant about this person. 
I think there's somebody new that's going to be a lot better anyway. So the just according to the cards, it may be better for you just to keep it moving anyway and look at new opportunities here. But there's definitely some wisdom here through these wounds. It really is about making it through some difficult situations, but you're still standing. And if you have a life, you have a purpose. You're here to really to be joyful. And I, I do very much like to see that nine of cups in the sun here for you. So you have another ace here and it's really knowing, it's having this knowing, clear sense of thought, ideas that come in. This can also be setting new goals. And like I said before, anything that you decide that you're going to do, you'll have the right energy to follow through, stay committed and really get a victory here with the sun. So also too, for some of you, in terms of a new relationship, I said the word committed. And as soon as I said it, I felt like there's somebody here that wants a commitment and not you, but I feel like there is somebody who will be available to you. So that's what I mean. There's somebody for you who wants a commitment. So you have many gifts coming towards you here and it really is up to you. That's the good news too, because it really is going to be based on how you get, you know, interpret things around you, what you decide to do. So it's, it's not like a reading where it feels completely, you know, like chaotic around you. The energy is very stable around you. So let's see what the angels have to say here. And we'll get a timeline. And a yes or a no. So you have success. So again, with the sun, this makes a lot of sense and is just more support that you are on the right path, that the universe wants to bring in good things to you. The universe is always on your side and is really running through you. It's really just about connecting with the field. Now, they do tell you to get more information. So again, if you see somebody at first glance, they might be worth a second look, okay? So just not to screen things out before you know fully what you're screening out, especially if you've been kind of in this, eh, no, next, no, next <laughs> kind of energy, um, slow down a little bit and see what else is out there. Now, improving health, this makes a lot of sense with the goals about any kind of weight loss or fitness. You'll be making some decisions to cut some things out and maybe even try something new in terms of some kind of supplement or something I'm getting. But either way, I do feel like this is also about removing some things that just you know are not great for your body and wanting to be more in tune, more, you know, connected mind, body, spirit within the next few weeks. So things are moving forward and manifesting. Now they have reconsider here. And what this really means is there's some element of, of, how you're moving forward, there may be something you're focused on that is more of the details, right? The universe handles those. The universe, let them do the heavy lifting. You just sit back and enjoy the ride. You keep moving forward, keep taking actions, but just being aware not to get too caught up in the how will this happen, but be focused on the what do you want and why do you want it? Um, because that's where we tend to slow ourselves down. It doesn't mean it won't happen, but it could take a long time if it's something where you're really focused on the how of it. So great things shall come to pass for you, Leo. I love you so much and I'll be back again soon.